let's just think about, guys, where does this equation even come from? Where does sine inverse come from? Well, the reason why I left you those problems in your test is because we covered this in your focus lessons. If you guys remember, if we had sine of some angle is equal to negative 1 half, how do we figure out what that angle is? Well, remember inverse operations. To undo sine, you have to take the sine inverse. So sine inverse of sine, those undo each other. And basically, what we have here is theta is equal to the sine inverse of negative 1 half. So in reality, what this question is asking you is, what is the angle where the sine is equal to negative 1 half? What is the angle that produces the sine of negative 1 half? 60. OK, well, we can, we can start looking over here to give us an idea. If you guys look at the first quadrant of the, your unit circle, when is sine equal to 1 half? There's only one angle. Pi, I'm going to use radians because we need to get used to radians. It's pi over 6. That's the only time it's equal to 1 half. However, we're looking for negative. negative. But anyways, let's just, find, let's just figure this out real quick. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a coordinate point, we know this angle is pi over 6. That is not the angle that produces sine for equal to negative 1 half. That gives you positive 1 half, right? Now, let's go back and kind of have an understanding of reflections. If I have a point, 3 comma 5, and I reflect that point over the x-axis, what is the new coordinates of my point? Okay. If I have that point and I reflect it about the y-axis, what's my new coordinates? OK, good. So you guys understand that, right? So therefore, if this is pi over 6, when this is going to be negative 1 half is going to be this angle and this angle. Do you guys agree with me? Thank you. Now the problem is we just need to figure out, well, what the heck are these two angles? All right. Now, first of all, before I even do that, though, we have an issue. We have an issue. Um, this problem, remember our angle, our angle has a, what is our restriction of our domain? It can only be between negative pi halves and pi halves. Can only be between there, right? So if here's my initial side, without even trying to figure out where, what this angle is, can I even rotate over to there while staying within my domain? No. And guys, it's really not that hard anyways, just if you wanted to figure that one out. If this is pi over 6, what do you think that has to be? Pi over 6. Halfway around the circle is how many 6? Six? 6 pi over 6. So they go one more, it would be 7 pi over 6. But 7 pi over 6 doesn't fall within the restriction, though. Okay. So if you needed to find that, though, you guys should be able to do that. It is 7 pi over 6 right there. If you guys look at your inner circle, 7 pi over 6, that's a coordinate point. Um, but anyways, it doesn't fall within restriction, so we're not going to worry about it. We need to worry about this one. Now, the unfortunate thing is we can't go around to go to there, because then again, we went out of our restriction. Do you guys see how that's a problem? So therefore, I have to go in the negative direction. Well, to go up to here is pi over 6. What is it to go down to here? Negative pi over 6. So my answer is negative pi over 6. Or in degree form, that's negative 30 degrees. Okay? So, how would you, now, first of all, I would recommend, I mean, you guys need to know this, but what is another way for you guys to check your answers?